Hey y'all, Positive here. In this video, I'm going to share 10 different things about this game that they don't want you to know. So grab a snack, sit back, and let's dive right into the video. There is an extremely quick way to lower someone's friendships and hearts in one day. And I mean, you can go from 10 hearts and max friendship all the way down to zero. First, you're going to need a failed dish, and they're very easy to make. What you can just throw like an egg in a salad and you'll get yourself a failed dish, but there's a lot of ways you can get one. Basically, don't create an actual recipe, like fail a recipe and you'll get a failed dish. And after you have the failed dish, go to the person you want to lower friendships and hearts with and show them that dish over and over and over again. You can take someone with 10 hearts and max friendship all the way down to enemies with zero hearts. You might be asking, what's the point of this? Why would you go out of your way to make somebody hate you in the game? Well, people have been experiencing not being able to see heart events with different marriage candidates after Cecilia, Nami's, and Molly show their 9 heart cutscenes. So if you see one approaching 9 hearts and you don't want to chance it with that event, just show them the fail dish a few times. That way that they'll take away a heart or two and you don't have to have any anxiety about it. Are you getting male chickens every time you hatch an egg? Do you feel bad about selling all those male chickens? You can actually reload your file for a new gender. I was actually testing something else out when I noticed a chicken that first hatched as a boy, then hatched as a girl on my second attempt. Now we don't have to feel so bad about selling all the male chickens. Also, just a little bit of a note, but why do they call them male chickens in the game? Like, they're roosters, so why? I don't know. Anyway, this is a big, big one. Do not spend 50k for your first female star cow because there is a cheaper way. The first step to this process is buying a male star cow. It's going to take about three days for it to grow up as well. The second step is to go to the ledger and order breeding. You want to breed the normal cow that you start the game with and the male star cow that you bought. Make sure the male star cow is grown up before doing this. The offspring can be either breed of the parents. There's a 60% chance that it's going to be the mom's breed and 40% chance it's going to be the father's breed. After about two months, your cow will start blushing and when you speak to it, it will actually give you a prompt to go isolate it. It's going to take a few more days after that, but then you'll get a message that says, this cow will give birth soon, and that's when you need to make a save file. Then all you have to do is keep resetting that day until you get the correct breed and gender. This is definitely a time investment, and I would definitely recommend someone doing this early on, like let's say the first spring, but as you progress further and further into the game, you, you'll probably have more money that you can just straight up buy a star cow. But I think this is a really, really good way to get a star cow very early in the first year. If getting 25k is hard for you in the first spring, I actually made a video right here that can show you how to make some money. I'll link the video in the description below as well. You've probably seen villagers going up the hill next to Vesta's farm. This hill used to have a bigger importance than older games to allow connectivity, but it's been changed. Now if you try going up the hill, you're going to receive a prompt to be able to skip 6 hours in the game by visiting a faraway town. The catch is, you don't go anywhere. It's just a little cutscene. There is some use for this, but I would say it's pretty limited. Overall, I'm disappointed because they could have done something else with this, but it is what it is, you know? Did you know that there's a brand new shortcut in this version of the game? I did not, um, and it took me until fall to realize it, so if you didn't know this one, don't be embarrassed because we're in the same boat. <laughs> Have you ever went to the dig site and then forgot to grab your daily recipe from the Harvest Sprites? Yep, that's a thing. Then you're in luck because you can walk in the river now. Yeah, I did this by mistake one day, and then I saw Carter do it, and I'm like, wait, where have I been? What, what is that? What? Uh, what? It's a fantastic shortcut, but um, yeah, don't don't be like me. Don't don't walk around the entire. <laughs> don't don't take the long route. Just go through the river, and you don't need your horse. You can walk through it. Do not buy the scene maker for 30k. If you befriend Daryl, you can get it for free. You can give Daryl a lot of easy gifts too, like eggs, fish, 
fossils, and cooked dishes. After you're high enough friends with Daryl, enter his laboratory after 1pm and you'll get this really funny cutscene. It seems like the city stole his idea and he's really angry about it. So, out of his own pride and ego, he's gonna give you a free seed maker that would have costed you 30k. And you know what? He'll do you one better. He'll install it in your farm for free. Thank you, Daryl. You're a pal. A really good early way to use a seed maker is throw some of your fruit in the seed maker because each fruit will give you two bags of seeds. And while one bag of seeds is 5G less than the actual fruit itself, because you get two bags of it, it's almost doubling your profits. So definitely turn all of your fruit into seeds. If you planted your fruit trees like this, I am so sorry to tell you that you are completely misusing your space because you really don't need all that space for fruit trees. Don't worry, I had the same problem, and I had the same reaction you're probably having right now. <sighs> if you were doing a dreadful sigh, if you're even annoyed at me for telling you this information, I totally am behind you, 100%. Let me show you a more efficient way of planting your fruit trees. You can start right in one of the two back corners and just skip one tile and plant the next one. You can plant five trees like this, and honestly, they look really, really nice, all on a cute little line in the back. And if you're worried about uh, being able to harvest these trees after you plant them, I'll show you that too. I mean, they look beautiful back here, right? And if you're anything like my Twitch chat or my Discord chat, you'll probably have a similar response they had, which is, Posser, why? I thought I was done, but also thank you. <laughs> so if your response is something similar to that, then yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're one of many. You are one of many. But I love this placement so much because everything's organized, everything's in a cute line together, and you can plant like a lot more like this. The next one is going to be very quick, but did you know there's a calendar in your house? It took me until winter 3rd for me to realize that there is a calendar in your house. I found out when I was live over on Twitch and it was very startling. I was so confused, but extremely excited. <laughs> If you see those emotes, those are actually my subscriber emotes, so I hope you like them. I love cats. As you're playing the game, you might have stumbled across a few different wild animals. Wow, these animals are actually telling you something. All four are indicators that there's going to be good luck at that fishing area. This will indicate that you will start catching fish faster, and you'll have a higher chance at catching a bigger fish. The first one is a turtle, which you can find by the swamp area near the beach. I'm pretty sure this is just for the pond, but it could include the ocean as well, but I'm not sure. Next up is a raccoon, which can be seen near the windmills by Vessel's farm. This will indicate good fish downstream by the bridge. The third one can be found by the waterfalls and it's this cute little green lizard with a little bandage leg. And this will indicate good fishing by the waterfall but I believe anything upstream would count but I stick to the waterfall just in case. And finally we have the owl which is up in the big tree near the goddess pond. This one might be something you have not seen before because it's so small Aww. and it's so cute. But this will indicate that there's better fishing at the goddess pond area. A bonus one, if you've seen the chihuahua right by the dig site, that indicates good luck for digging. I want to give a big shout out to TinBear1121 for the information. They commented over in my money making tip video and I really appreciate how well written it was. Thank you so much. There's also a secret record that you can find in a mysterious pot. Nina tips you off about this while she's telling you about this odd dream that she had with three little harvest sprites. And there was a tiny little pot on the back of the wall named Mr. Potson. If you're not sure where the harvest sprites are, they're in this big, big tree to the left of the dig site, right next to the goddess pond. To gain access to the tree, pick up one of these red mushrooms and eat it you'll be zapped right inside of the tree. The mysterious pot, or Mr. Potson, is located in the top right area of this little tree house. And I hope you're ready to click because this little secret is very simple, but it's a little bit tedious. And by a little bit, I mean you gotta click this pot nearly 100 times. Oh yeah. 
and whatever is in the pot gets kind of angry with you and eventually is like, you know what? Take this musical record, leave me alone. I really love this secret because in a Wonderful Life special edition, you actually chose your child's gender from this pot. So I like how they remember the pot and did something with it. Shout out to Coco over on Twitch and YouTube that gave me this information. Speaking of secret records, you can also get another one from Muka Muka. And all you have to do is befriend Muka Muka. Which is super cute because I mean, look at that face. Look at that face. Isn't it so cute? Aww. It's so cute. I hope I was able to help out. Thank you all so much for all the support. I am getting flooded with so much love and so much support over on the community post, down in the comments, on my Twitch event, and also Discord. A random thing that you might not know about me is that I'm currently streaming on Twitch and I'm doing a very special challenge. I am trying to stream for two years in a row, and I'm currently on day 554. And yes, that means I have taken no days off. It's really fun, but sometimes it can be a little challenging. <laughs> Thank you all so much again. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea how much this means to me. I randomly cried in a Walmart while getting cereal because I was so happy. So, I mean, you really affected me in a very deep, personal way, so thank you so much. I'm going to be releasing more videos soon, so keep an eye out for that as well. If you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I hope you all have a wonderful day playing this game, and I'll see you all in the next video.